Uh, well, why don't we just regroup then? Unless we're, are we taping for podcasts? That's the question. Can someone find that out? Are we taping this for a restream? Kenny, how's your family? How are things going? <laughs> Life is good, my friend. I'm keeping busy with uh, two teams in Stark County uh, in the state championship game this Friday for us. We've got uh, the Perry Panthers uh, in uh, Perry Township in Stark County, and we've got uh, Canton Central Catholic in Division Five, back-to-back years playing for a state championship. So uh, on the work side, things are good. Family side, things are good, so I can't complain. Uh, what's, how's your radio show going? I'm just curious. I mean, compared to what you're doing, have you changed anything up a little bit compared? Because I don't, it's hard for me to listen to your show down here. Up here. You know what? Less callers uh, on the show in, in Canton. Right. So it's more guest driven. We had Pierre on last week talking Ohio State uh, and Michigan. And we had Leroy Horde on uh, talking Ohio State, Michigan, along with Justin Zwick. He joined us, Tim Anderson. So it's more guest driven. And then we mix in the callers. And a lot of high school football stuff down there. It's huge did, in Stark County. Did you play against Tim Anderson? Yeah, I did. did I, do you, Kenny, do you remember when he first came to Ohio State, he was like this gigantic project. Yeah. And then by the time he left, I mean, he was a beast. D tackle. That kid was a beast by the time he, he left. As I remember National watching champion, real good video. guest, too. If you, if you want to get him on your show to talk Buckeyes, he was really good, too. Yeah, I wouldn't mind doing that. That'd be awesome. I, I, would, we should, I wish we did a Buckeye dog on the run we every should. week. I think that'd be a blast. I would yeah, love to do that. As long as we're streaming. Like, we're not even streaming right now, so what's the big deal? Well, this is the best do... phone call, most expensive phone call in the history of, uh, of podcasting. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't do it. Mike Pedden, no, I, I didn't blame this on Ray Farmer. This, this one's on Ray. You're, you're blaming last night's game on Ray? I'm blaming this on Ray. All right, who are you blaming, Kenny? Last night? Yeah. Wow. The now, offensive line. Pick, pick. I mean, the defense, this is the fourth consecutive game. Now, granted, two of the Ray, touchdowns. Hey, I was, I was like, Randy, why don't you come on? It's right? breaking news. So, breaking I guess news. if you wanted to pick it, special teams, they gave up the punt return, and then they gave up the, the, the kick six. So, if I'm picking anybody last night, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to blame this one on Chris Tabor uh, and the special teams units because two of his units failed miserably. I, I mean, are you really blaming Chris? Like, I had a guy want to fight me after the game last night. Yeah, guy what? did not want to fight you. I'm telling you, he want ask the people. That story. Wait till you hear the radio. See, this, wait, this, this, we is, do this, this is, is radio where you day. need to have me with you sometime. See? This is, is, right after the game? This guy like, was a 75-year-old man. I don't care. No, it wasn't. It was a guy in his 60s. Why do you want I to fight I was walking you? out back out on the uh, field last night. Right, uh, hang on. Can we just find out if we're rolling so we can no, have this we, as a – we're, we're not even rolling for podcast. We're rolling. I don't even know what that means. Faith appears. Well, okay, so here's what happens. We record this, and then we can rerun it on the web, even if it's done. I didn't think we're doing that. It's on, up on YouTube. And oh, okay. okay, so I can oh, say so we're on YouTube. I, I can say something, right? Oh, go, yeah, go. Kenny, O H. I O. There you go. <laughs> there it is. Oh, the live, the live stream's back? Oh, oh great. Right. Yeah, we're back on the live stream. They're killing me, Kenny. Oh, man. <laughs> Uh, All right, really? if you're just joining us, uh, this is fight. Dogs on the Run. We're glad you're with us. Uh, we decided to get the stream up going, I don't know, 19 minutes late, even though we've been doing the show for 19 minutes. Kenny, we I got in trouble you, with hey, our Kenny headsets. With we us. couldn't get uh, all the information in in time to get it started. Kenny, that, this is the best show I think you've ever had, and I can't believe it. And anyone has seen this. I mean, seriously, I think this was an Emmy for you. I felt real strong about it. Uh, it ended up on the cutting room floor like a lot of actors' debuts and things like that, right? One day we'll come back and we'll we'll talk about this this great moment in WB or WBS, WEWS history. What, Randy? So, like, what is the, the radio equivalent to like an Emmy? What, what do you get? What is uh, what's the radio uh, Marconi, isn't it? Right, Kenny. The radio equivalent to an Emmy. I believe it would be the Marconi. The Marconi, yes. You never finish your story with the guy who wanted to fight you. Oh, all right. So let me uh, if you're just joining us because this is probably the most exciting part of a game where the Browns. Uh, it's laughable. So after the game. There's an area, um, there's a bronze locker room, and then there's the tunnel where they run out, where I think, you know, everyone gets to see it. And then they have these fences up so the media stands, so the players can walk in the locker room. Well, this year they have a new club. Is it 64 or 46? I can't remember. 46. Club 46. And they built a bar directly across the door from where the bronze players go. Kenny, have you seen this yet? I have not. Okay, it's, it's, it's actually kind of cool. And I, it's definitely Dallas style. Like, right. if you go to Dallas, you go to Jerry World down there, they have the same exact thing. Was, this was a sweet old man after. Oh, God. Give me a break, dude. Sweet this, old this man. Is the same guy that we're talking 
Yeah, he had calmed down a lot after where you saw him. But this guy was a teacher. He was liquored up, huh? He was hammered. So, just like Johnny. There's a fence, and I've got to go back out on the field because I do a thing with Nathan Zagura for ClevelandBroads.com. So I'm going to just kind of sneak through the fence, run back out on the field. I've got the credential. I, you know, they let you right through. As I'm walking through, this guy's like, hey, Andy, hey. I'm like, hey, how are you doing? And he's like, I got to tell you something. He's like, you know, the other thing is, is that when, when someone's drunk, personal space is gone. And that's like the worst part of it, right? So now he's all he, up in your And he was spitting in your, in your face? He, yeah. was, he was giving you a little no, shower? No, he wasn't spitting. So anyway, he so now he's, he's, he's <laughs> talking to me. And, you know, I, I'm looking at this guy, and he, you know, I'm like, it's, he's a, a guy who was in shape. In shape. He of, was not in shape. Oh, stop. Rand, Randy, I don't know what world you're living in. He was, he, the guy was a former he got, gym teacher. He got glasses. What? The old guy with glasses. The old guy with glasses. He was in decent shape for his old, I mean, he was 60s, early 60s probably. Well, let me see. Hang on a second. If he was at the championship, he said, <coughs> wait, 64. So let's say he was 20 and 64, 30 and 74, 40 and 84. What am, where am I going? You're 94, going. 40, 04, 50, so 14, 60. He was 20 ish, right? He was 87, 80. All right, so he was young. So, anyways, he went to the game. He was in 64. He went to the game. So, anyways, I'm walking by him. This guy's all in my SH, you know what I'm talking about. And then he looks at me and he's like, I was at the 64 game. I've been to five or six games since then. This, see this ticket? I never come down here because they always lose when I come down here. I'm done coming down here. I've been here. Uh, 64, I was here. I was here for Red Right 88. I was here for this and that and that. And then smartass Andy Baskin looks at me and goes, hey, man, that is a great resume. Outstanding. I don't know if you listen. If you on the radio show, we do that all the time. Like if Pierre called, Pierre would call and he'd go, like, "Yeah, this is Pierre. I played pro ball. I played uh, high level high school. Played in some big games. Blah blah blah." I would say, "Nice resume." Right. I mean, it's just, I don't know, Kenny. Let me ask you. And as I finish the story, Kenny, why do callers feel like they have to give you their freaking resume every time they call? What to justify that this is why they picked up the phone to call us? They want, they want you to know that they have suffered more misery than you, how far they go back, and that they, they experienced what it was like to win, and now they're suffering the misery, and it's not fair to them because uh, they know what it takes to win, and, and this, uh, you know, the, the rest of us don't, don't understand uh, what that's like. Okay, so now let's pick it up there. The guy's giving me his resume, and he's just like, and he's all over, and ev now everyone's looking because he's talking so loud. Media's starting to look. Some of the players are walking in. And now he is yelling at me. You ask Mike Patton this. You have got to ask Mike Patton this. And I'm like, dude, we ask him. And it's not just me. It's the entire media. You guys need to ask Mike Patton this. And I'm like, dude, what do you want from me? I'm walking out on the field. I go, I didn't play in the game. I go, would, would I have let them block that kick? No, there's no way. Because, of course, I'm a, you know, 26 star athlete that could never made it to the varsity football team played one year a freshman because I wanted to play hockey because that's the kind of guy I am I should have ran out of the field I didn't know did that. I didn't know it was 26 stars though oh 26 that's, that's yeah, impressive 26 man. Star. Oh, okay that's you know, a five-star recruit yeah yeah not me I was 26 you the man thank you anyways so <laughs> so this guy's yelling and screaming at me and now I'm like I gotta go I gotta go you're not asking the right questions you're not doing this I'm like dude I gotta walk out there and now he's like grabbing my arm and I'm like, I, I got to go. I got to go. And, and then, he's, then he's screaming, and everyone in the media is looking at me. So that's a man violation. And then I turn over, and I'm just like, I, I got to go. And then and he's, now he's starting to swear, and he's, he's yelling at me. I'm like, where's security? Anybody know where security is around here? So I walk back out. We go back in. Then we come back. And then Randy, gentle Randy over here. So, I, you know, Kenny, the last thing you want, I, like, the last thing I want to do is have somebody PO'd at me the whole time and think, oh, Andy Baskin's a total asshole, oh, excuse me, it's this show anyway, it doesn't matter. Um, he's a total ass, and it's just like, come on. You know, so I walked back over, I talked to the guy, I said, hey, man, no hard feelings, and but he goes, oh, I don't care, and then he goes through this whole thing about how, um, how he was a teacher, and that he was allowed to go over to the facility when Forrest Gregg was here, and blah, 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 blah. And so all these guys are laughing, all these people are tweeting back at me, and 
It just I, I the story I didn't kill the story so, on so, the air. So, right bas so basically, this he, old man he, wanted to fight me last night, and then he, he you know, he's getting all mad. He's just like, hey, here's the deal, and uh, why don't they fire? Uh, he was all over Tabor. He was all over. They need to fire him. Fire him right now. I'm like, look, I understand it was a bad play. It was one bad play at the end of the game. It cost them the game in the end. We probably would have went to overtime. Chris is probably, and I know, and I know you were talking about Kenny. Chris is probably the only respected coach across the league with a history on this team. I mean, every time they change the coaching staff, he, his contract is always put back into place where he has to. I know for a fact that when they brought in Chud, I had heard that you know, there were, he had like four or five different offers to leave. And Chud and their staff wouldn't let him go. And then, look, go ahead. And then Petten, they wouldn't let him go either. And I've watched Chris in training camp He's the kind of guy you want to play for. He's a motivator. He's not, I mean, I, I just, I really think he's a good coach. They got beat on that last play last night. And you're right, Kenny. I mean, they deserve to take some of the blame because they lost on special teams. But of all the coaches on that team, he's the one guy that mm -hmm. truly has the respect of his players. People listen to him and they want to execute on special teams. Uh, Josh Cribbs talked about him all the time too. He's, uh, so this guy's like all over. I'm like, take a step back here, drunk guy. Relax for a second. I go, it's not the coach's fault. He's not the one who's executing. He puts the game plan together. The, I'm sure that Chris would have loved to have had another 10 or 15 yards downfield well, to try to make that field goal a little bit easier. The players got to have a lot more pride in what they do and how they do it. You know what I'm saying? To have two first-rounders and a, a veteran get blown up like that against a team that wasn't coming off a bye, and we are, like, you're, you're too fresh to get blown up, plain and simple. You got to play a lot harder. You want to win games, not lose games, and make yourself look that much worse. Now, Baltimore ain't, I mean, what, what have they really done? Nothing, but well, they did. In us. fact, I think they're in better shape because they lost because you keep yourself towards the top pick. I, that, that was the, the reality. And that was the laugher at the end of it because I don't the, want this team to lose. But if you're going to lose, lose. Who, who, so who, who are we picking the top pick? Well, I, who are we going to go? Jo, yeah. Joey Bosa? I'd take Joey gonna, Bosa. Why would you, gonna, you wouldn't not, take no, Joey Bosa? I would take him. I'm just saying, we'll take Joey Bosa, but then what? What is he going to do? He's going to be the savior? He gonna make. He gonna get all the sacks and everything. Ain't that what we brought Paul in for? And um. Well, we, how many sacks do we have last night? None. <laughs> None. And I'm saying, Did we have if we, any if sacks we get last Joey, night? it ain't like he gonna be able to get uh, all the sacks hey, either. I, I we got Kenny, it. your thoughts on all this rambling? We got George on this yeah, we'll go to George in a second. I, I go, hey guys. I go back last night. I go back to special teams. I'm sorry. The the punt return. Uh, early in the game, and the field goal. The first yeah. score and the last score of the game. You can't give up 14 points on – or excuse me, 13 points because they took a knee. You can't give up 13 points on special teams. You you just can't. So if I'm pinning this on, you know, one unit or, or the, uh, having a scapegoat for this, uh, it's on the special team. Yeah, Travis Coons has been outstanding all season long, but this was the first time he was put in a pressure situation for a long field goal, and the trajectory on it was a little bit low. Having said that, still, Cam Irving, Danny Shelton, Mitchell Schwartz, they got blown up on the left side, and that led to the, the kick six return. It was kind of like the Iron Bowl when Alabama yeah. lost uh, to Auburn on that uh, uh, short field goal. The guy returned it. So, uh, to me, special teams takes most of the blame for this one. Yeah, you're looking at some of the pictures. If you're, I mean, if you're listening, you can't see this, but... There were some pretty good signs there last night. We still have LeBron was one. Uh, Did you see the one that the one guy uh, put up? Uh, it said, I'll, let's see if I can put it up here. Hey, Baltimore, can you take this team too? Yeah, uh, did did you see that one that was up last that. night? There it is yeah, on my phone. Was, I put it up there for you. Yeah, I thought that was a pretty good one too. Um, yeah, terrible. again, R Randy, how many sacks did we have yesterday? How many sacks? Zero. Zero, zero sacks. I, there's just no reason. That's, it's sad. I mean, I don't. That, I mean, seriously, that was Baltimore's JV team that was out there last night. That's, yeah. what, I'm That's what I said. It's sad. They got a backup quarterback in. Who, yeah. You know what I'm saying? It's not their star quarterback. Star quarterback towards ACL. They ain't. They don't have their number one uh, running back. And you mean to tell me we can't even get to the dog on quarterback? No. Hey, let's let's 